Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Alyssa Maloney alongside Carl Higby. Our next guest is making a run for the Senate. But while this is all happening, the Biden administration removed him from his position on the Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition, where he was appointed by President Trump. Yes, yeah, so for more on this, let's bring in Pennsylvania senatorial candidate and beloved television personality, Dr. Oz himself. <laughs> Doctor, appreciate you coming on. Good morning, my friends. It was a bit of a shock. You know, I opened up my email, and Herschel had a similar experience, mm -hmm. and both of us got these bizarre, terse letters from the White House. And initially, I thought I was being punk. I thought President Biden meant to fire Fauci, which is what I've been asking for all these months. <laughs> Wishful <And> thinking. Then, <laughs> yes, and then I thought, you know, he's playing political games. I mean, what a shocking priority to fire me when we've got inflation the highest in 40 years, we've got gas prices the highest in 15 years. That's the biggest concern that Pennsylvanians here have. The yeah. Ukraine crisis is, is heating up. And I got to say, I mean, I thank President Trump for appointing me. The President's Council on Sports Fitness and Nutrition is a is a wonderful honor. I mean, it started back in the days of Kennedy and Eisenhower. It's an effort to help children. That's what I've right. done my whole, whole life. And yet, when President Trump, who knows a, a thing or two about firing people, heard about this, he was shocked as well. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make sure. any sense. Well, oh, Doc, I got to ask you, though. Look, I, I served in the in Trump administration. I, you know, I, I was on the city council, and I, I'm familiar with the Hatch Act. I'm familiar with the conflicts of interest and things like that. And just, you know, look, there are probably very few people in the world more qualified to serve on a health and fitness board than you and Herschel Walker, I, mm -hmm. hands down. However, they're falling back and saying, well, you know, this violates the Hatch Act, where you might use government positions to benefit yourself, your political stances. They're also saying there's a conflict of interest. What do you say to that? It's wrong. It's false. We actually got legal counsel to review this. It was unanimous. The Hatch Act is designed to prevent what you described, and it's actually designed for paid employees. However, there are some positions that are unpaid, like this business counsel, which theoretically it would, it would apply to as well. But it's only applied when you're serving in your capacity as a volunteer. Right. I mean, they haven't called a single meeting, not one since the, uh, Biden was inaugurated. So I haven't spent Whoa, any time on. serving Now, in one in, in the height of a COVID recovery? They haven't called one health and fitness? Are you kidding me? Not one. We had them under President Trump. There was pretty good team morale. I've got Mariano Rivera. I, I learned how to throw a splitter. You know, I've got Bill <laughs> Belichick. I can run different defenses. I mean, there are lots of great people on the council. Under the, President Trump reappointed us in December of 2020. We have not met since then. I've gotten very few communications. I'll tell you who's violating the, the Hatch Act. Fauci. Dr. Fauci, prior to the election in 2020, was on record, I know at least you know, one time, with the Washington Post embracing President Biden, because uh, at the time, candidate Biden, uh, arguing he was a, a better president in the future, theoretically, to manage COVID. That's violating the Hatch Act. It's a fully employed uh, uh, mm -hmm. person by the federal government yeah. saying something that is political. I'm not quitting. The Hatch Act does not apply to me or Herschel. In fact, quite the opposite. When Herschel and I are senators, we're going to investigate politically motivated firings. We're going to introduce legislation together to block politically driven malice. There's no room for this. We need everybody who's able-bodied to row the oars together. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to get to Dr. Fauci in a minute, uh, Dr. Oz. But why do you think the administration is doing this? I mean, we have crisis after crisis, and yet they are looking to remove you from that, which you say is an honorary uh, council. And so what, what do you think their reason is? Well, I'm a thorn in their side. I have gone after Dr. Fauci and other failings of the administration. I've been very harsh on their inability just to let energy producers know that they're part of the national security apparatus of the country, which would give them confidence to start drilling and producing natural gas, which would actually, if we could export it and replace dirty foreign coal with it, it would be the equivalent of electrifying every car in America and putting a sun uh, uh, a, a booster on every roof, a panel, right. plus doubling wind energy. I mean, it's incredibly valuable for the planet, plus it brings energy security, in fact, dominance to our country, and it reduces inflation, yeah. mm -hmm. which helps everybody. But they won't do it. So, of course, they get upset after a while. But here's the other question. Why would they wait four months? I've been campaigning every day for four months. Right. Why today? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Dr. Oz, you, you've shared a lot of criticism with Fauci. You had a Twitter video that Biden should really let him go. Look at this. It's beyond sad that Joe Biden would politicize such an important issue like health. In fact, let me offer a suggestion. The doctor he should ask to resign is Dr. Anthony Fauci for a multitude of obvious reasons. Highest paid person in the federal government making over, making more than the president himself. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, what do you make of this? He's got blinders on. He believes, as most Democrats do, that we need a top-down, authoritarian, one-size-fits-all approach. Now, when you apply that to health, it's really dangerous. 
Americans know that they want their doctor getting involved in making decisions so it's customized. And yet they don't accept that at the level of the federal government. Over and over again, mm -hmm. we make the same mistake. Even today, even today, I as a doctor cannot prescribe you a pill that you can go pick up easily at a pharmacy. And yet these pills have existed before COVID started that might actually have saved countless lives. What is going on here? It's gross incompetence. And at a certain point, the middle level unelected members of the government, like Dr. Fauci, have to pay the price for failure. No one can look at our response to, to COVID and argue that it was a you know, wonderful success story. Right. We have hindered the ability of doctors to play a role. And Dr. Fauci has silenced their commentary, their dissent, which is the worst thing to do in medicine. Yeah, absolutely. Dr. Fauci, he's been on a lot of a uh, lot of shows, but he uh, seems to have taken a break. Uh, do you you want him to be fired, but do you think the Biden in this administration is going to let him go at all? Well, they may not have been realized if they let him go based on the letter that I got. <laughs> I mean, but it, it, in any case, with Omicron BA2 heading our way, it's a subvariant, which, as you know, is about a third of the cases. Uh, and him beginning to, again, lay the groundwork for shutdowns or mandates, potentially, uh, you know, I don't get it. I mean, I think yeah. we've been to this rodeo before. Yeah. There's no question that this virus is the current Omicron variant is going to spread faster, but it's not right. resulting in more cases and thankfully more deaths. So I think we should focus on treatments. If Dr. Fauci wants to do his job, arm doctors to help patients. Stop mm -hmm. telling Absolutely. us to have people wait at home till the lips turn blue. Yes. All right. Dr. Oz, thank you so much. Always great to have you. Go to DrOz.com for more details if anyone's curious. Okay. God bless. <laughs> hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.